Hello, I wanted to continue with our series of videos showing you mobile ArcGIS Online. The focus of recent work within uh, Web Map Solutions has been uh, offline editing. So we've done a number of videos showing how to go offline and to actually edit uh, feature layers um, and then updating servers when going back online. One of our most recent additions has been attachments, so the ability to attach uh, an image or a small video um, or audio to a, a feature. So we've done that online but we wanted to uh, investigate doing it offline and it proved to be somewhat of a challenge but this video is actually a demonstration of offline attachments. So uh, what you're looking at here is a, basically a web map that we've published out to ArcGIS Online. Um, we've, got a, we've got some um, some layers being served up from ArcGIS Server um, and this one is actually hosted, this point feature um, layer is hosted by uh, Ursary themselves. The, the polygon layer at the top, the brown polygons, are, are actually a hosted feature service that we've published to ArcGIS Online. That's going to be the focus of the discussion today. The, uh, the, app, the device you're looking at here is an Android device, but the application actually runs uh, on an iPad as well. So it's iOS and Android cross-platform. What we'll do quickly, and I'm going to run through this reasonably quickly, so just let me tell you what I'm doing. We, we, we built the application with both offline and poor Wi-Fi connecti connectivity in mind, so um, users have the ability to actually set the uh, application to online or offline manually. So uh, in poor Wi-Fi um, connected areas, uh, the performance is improved by basically reading off of the device. So let's go ahead and just uh, look at the attributes of this particular feature. You can see that there they are, and it says there no attachments. So there are actually no attachments as part of this um, this uh, polygon of uh, this particular polygon feature. Um, let's go ahead then and go offline. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set the device to offline itself. So we'll go into airplane mode, um, and you can see in the bottom corner if, if it's clear that it's in airplane mode and we'll go ahead and then set the application to um, to load offline so what it's doing is writing the writing the layers to the device itself and then reading from those layers and it's done that and there we are we're now offline the base maps disappear because we don't have a TPK a license for this particular area but it does load a TPK which is local to the device so let's go into edit mode. We've basically got two editable um, layers and we're going to select the polygon layer. We'll tap the feature. We get a different pop-up which is the editing pop-up. We'll, we'll hit the attachments button and uh, it says in the window attachments only visible when online and that is the case. You'll only see the attachments in this window when you're actually online so let's just walk through the steps of attaching a file in offline mode. What we've done there is basically loaded a pop-up which allows us to interrogate multimedia files on the device. We're going to look at image files, we're going to select the first one there, and we're actually going to submit it. So what's just happened there is, and it gives a message to say it's actually submitted, whoops, it's actually submitted the, um, the uh, image and stored it on the device ready to be loaded onto the server when we go back online. So let's go ahead and go back online. We'll set the device to online and then we'll set the application to online so we now have a server connection it'll just take a second to though for that for the, us now to call the uh, server you can see the base map loading in the background there um, so we're now back online so let's just tap that feature and see if we've got an attachment there and we don't there is no attachment the way we set this application up is Manual manual server updates as against auto server updates. So, in the edit window on, in online, there's a button that says apply offline edit. So that would be any new features, edit the editing of existing features, the deletion of existing features, and the update of attachments. So what we're going to do now is manually update the server with that data, and we should now be able to tap that feature, and there we have the image that was attached so we've uh, so we so we've got a step by step and actually it's just a it's just a dummy image i think of my hand there so anyway a very nice addition to this functional flow that we've got in this application not only now is there ability to fulfill workers in this application to go out um, and use the application to edit 
of feature services or feature layers, but they can also attach various multimeter elements, uh, which are obviously a part of these um, these uh, ta these mobile devices to those features and have those stored on the Sturt server. So in real time, those in the office can actually interrogate layers that are being updated dynamically in the field, um, presuming they've got they've done the uh, the updates in online mode and see that data. So uh, a very nice workflow, um, a, a very functional application. Thanks for watching.